what if Goku was born as a Kryptonian Saiyan? How would this impact Goku's life? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. What is going on my Z fans? Today's discussion as you can see it's kind of a different discussion. It's going to be actually completely different because we haven't gone this far fetched when it comes to a what if and that is what if Goku the hero that we all know and love was born as a Kryptonian Saiyan. But what makes this video very special is I'm here with my boy Vegeta T23 who's going to be collaborating on this what if. Yo what's going on guys it's Michael from Vegeta T23 and welcome to the video. So today's discussion like you guys heard, we're going to be talking about Goku being born as a Kryptonian Saiyan. One thing we know is that a Saiyan himself is really OP, but now when it comes to a Kryptonian, they are also known as to be an OP and you know all those Superman Tars and all those Goku Tars out there, they're going to pretty much have a wet dream when they see this that a Saiyan and a Kryptonian becoming one. What do you think about this Michael? So what I think of it is basically it's going to be so far fetched from anything we've ever done. That is, that, that's all I can say. Well then, what are we waiting for my Z fans? Let's stop wasting our time and get right to this video because trust me, you would want to see exactly what happens when Goku is born as a Kryptonian Saiyan. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it and make sure you subscribe to my partner Vegeta T23. What if? Goku was born as a Kryptonian Saiyan. So on year 737, that's the year when Goku's born, but right now he is not conceived because he is a Kryptonian Saiyan. So what our plan is that Bardock, inside this what if, was busy in some type of remote planet, you could call it Planet Ass. Inside Planet Ass, Bardock was there trying to fight off all the warriors that were there, some unknown warrior race who magically came up from a black hole. So once when the moon went away, Bardock actually met a woman there, very hardly wounded in battle with the Saiyans. Her name was Kana Lorvan, and uh, Bardock actually managed to somehow fall in love with her. So you're telling me that Bardock is actually a cheater and he cheats on Gine? <gasps> How dare you Bardock, where the hell is the loyalty inside this? Welp, I wish I knew. But anyways, okay so Bardock he goes and meets this new woman and he has no idea who she is but she doesn't tell him the fact that she is actually a Kryptonian. She came from planet Krypton and that she ended up coming from that black hole which we mentioned earlier and she is that woman but she fell in love with a Saiyan who is Bardock. So you know what happens next, Bardock and her gets a little bit of excitement and a couple days later she is pregnant with Goku. Now that could be an issue right there. Well, it could be an issue because in just 5 days from conception, Kana actually gives birth to Goku. And uh, the reason why is because the Kryptonian DNA and Saiyan DNA uh, could actually be, even though Kryptonian DNA is really complicated, Saiyan DNA actually is almost the same level so the conception was actually um, compatible enough but also not compatible because in just 5 days Kana already was fully pregnant, she had a big belly already and um, she already went into labor. Now in labor, during the whole birth part, Goku was actually born but Kana died in the result of it. And from there when Goku was born, Bardock decided to name him Kakarot but he was also stressed out at the fact that his wife or someone he just met has died. But that's not all. Since they all wear the same scouter, Bardock got the alert that Frieza is now on planet Vegeta and he's about to destroy the planet. Out of fear, Bardock did not know what to do so he decided to go and send Goku to a remote planet known as planet Earth as he used Kana's spacecraft and he sent Goku there telling him, listen son, remember one thing, I'm gonna send you to this planet and if I survive, 
I will come and get you. But whoever asks you who sent you, just say it was him. Who's him? Him slash he. As Bardock has now sent Goku to planet Earth and he made his way towards planet Vegeta. But unfortunately for him, Bardock actually died by Frieza's hand. As planet Vegeta was now destroyed, but Goku was now making his way towards planet Earth. And as you know it, Goku has now arrived to planet Earth, but no one other than Kami's lookout. Upon his arrival, everyone heard a loud explosion as Kami ran out to see what it is. And Popo, you know him, he started tripping out saying, oh, Kami, what happened? What do we do? Well, Popo, I guess we have a spaceship. But Kami, do you know where it came from? Apparently, it came from Planet Vegeta. Oh my. As they saw, Goku has come out of space spot, and from there, Kami then realized that he is actually a complete different breed. He's not a Saiyan or not a human. He is something else that they had no idea. As they asked Goku, Tell me, son, where did you come from? Who sent you here? He sent me here. He? Who is he? He slash him? Uh, Kami, I think he got you there. Shut up, Popo. I'll lock you up again. Oh, sorry. Oh, you know, Kami and Popo, they always do their bullshit scream. But yeah, pretty much. Goku landed on Kami's lookout. And that's when Kami decided to go and take care of Goku because he saw he was just a wandering boy. Had nowhere else to go. So he decided to raise him. And since Goku is a Kryptonian Saiyan, Saiyan it is easy for him to handle anything. Anything that comes at him, he pretty much handles every situation. So, after the landing, 10 years has actually passed and Goku is now a 10 year old boy and he's actually training on Kami's lookout. Now one day, he actually falls from Kami's lookout right on his head. Now you would think, okay, well, he lost his memory, of course. Nah, 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 nah. He doesn't actually lose his memory because, remember, he's a Kryptonian Saiyan. And with that, Goku starts his adventure as he's a 10 year old boy, he's wandering around, starts to go look, look around planet Earth, you know, he's really powerful since he is a saint and a Kryptonian. He ends up bumping into a woman named Boma. Boma actually is trying to look for the Dragon Balls, so she asks Goku to come along with her as he does to help her find the Dragon Balls, but then he fights with Apropila, who is a walk cake for Goku. He goes and one shot him down, and he ends up giving the Dragon Balls to Boma, but they end up meeting a guy named Yamcha, so she decided to make him her boyfriend as Goku continues to live his life, and now you know it. A few more years has passed until Kami starts to stress out because we all know King Piccolo is bound to come out. So while Goku was actually under the Corns Tower, Pilaf actually managed to release King Piccolo and King Piccolo actually managed to locate the Dragon Ball. Now for you see, King Piccolo actually um, managed to find Goku and Goku actually fought King Piccolo. Now the thing with King Piccolo is that since he's so weak and Goku is a Kryptonian Saiyan, he actually managed to defeat King Piccolo very, very easily because he's a Kryptonian Saiyan. Now tell me one thing, Michael. Do you think that Goku would meet Chi-Chi since he's a Kryptonian Saiyan and he's living in Kami's lookout? Will that connection happen with him and Chi-Chi? Well, I guess they could go up to the Fire Mountain, him and Bulma, uh, possibly even Yamcha. They would eventually meet at the Fire Mountain, and uh, Chi Chi would be there, Ox King, Ox King would be there, and uh, I guess they could meet. Um, they could eventually form a bond, uh, start um, hanging out with each other, and eventually Chi Chi would develop love with Goku. And as you know, it, they grow up to teenage, and therefore Chi Chi had to go and ask him to marry him. Goku would be like, oh, why not? And he gets married to Chi Chi, but she has no idea that he is actually a Kryptonian Saiyan. He is actually something that no one has ever countered before, but his strength speaks it all because Goku is able to one-shot everyone and the fact that Goku managed to one-shot King Piccolo, he also managed to give out an egg without Goku noticing, which still remains why Kami is still alive. But despite that fact, once when King Piccolo managed to throw out his egg, Piccolo has grown and he wants to fight Goku and when he does, same result as his father, Piccolo gets one-shot by Goku because... He's, He's a, a Kryptonian, Kryptonian Saiyan. Saiyan. And as we're celebrating, Goku realized that someone has not arrived to planet Earth, and that someone is no one other than Raditz, because Raditz still is looking for Goku. He wants Goku's help to come and fight Frieza, and therefore bow towards King Vegeta. Or you could say Prince Vegeta, since he's not the king, technically. But then Goku refused to do so, and Raditz gets mad, saying that, You're an embarrassment to my brother, race! Goku be like, ah, shut up. He goes and one-shot his ass down. Why? He's, He's a, a Kryptonian, Kryptonian Saiyan. Saiyan. Kryptonian Saiyan. 
As they all celebrate that Goku beat Raditz, little did they knew, far in the galaxy, Vegeta and Nappa heard about that fight and now they want to come to planet Earth to fight with Goku. But one benefit here is that since Goku is a Kryptonian Saiyan, he didn't die and therefore he's still alive in planet Earth, but he doesn't meet King Kai so therefore he will not learn the Kaioken. So after a year, Nappa and Raditz actually managed to come to Earth and um, basically Goku managed to meet them and uh, Nappa starts getting all huffy puffy and starts attacking Goku because he killed his own brother. However, Nappa gets one shot because he's, he's a, a Kryptonian, Kryptonian Saiyan. Saiyan. While Vegeta's acting like a little Karen being like, how? How can he do this? I'm the stronger one! So Vegeta went onto a rampage for Goku and started preparing a massive Galagun. However, Goku easily blocked it. Now Vegeta, you know Vegeta, he starts powering up a power ball, throwing it in the sky and turning Uzaru. Now Uzaru didn't really help any because Goku has actually seen all that kind of stuff with his own tail and uh, he actually just cut Vegeta's tail and told Vegeta to never come back, throwing him into a spaceship and just throwing it into the space. And with that Goku managed to save the day yet again because... He's, He's a, a Kryptonian, Kryptonian Saiyan. Saiyan. And now with that, Goku begins to go and protect planet Earth at all costs. He never leaves planet Earth, so therefore he ignores what happens with Frieza. And while that's happening, Frieza decides to become the ruler of the entire universe since no one's there to stop him. But Goku, on the other hand, he would do what he can to make sure that his Earth is safe. But now, a few years has passed and it's time for the Android Saga to come because Dr. Dro does have a grudge on Goku. After all, he did destroy the Red Ribbon Army. What do you think what happened during the Red Ribbon Army saga, Michael? Well, I guess Dr. Jiro would still become an android along with 19, 18, 17, 16 eventually. I guess that could happen, but um, I don't think it will be anytime soon. At least not yet in the next coming years. That is true. In the next couple of years, this android saga comes. So how do you think he's going to handle Cell? Well, Cell would actually be a pretty easy walk in the park because Imperfect Cell is still well, imperfect, so he would basically go on and defeat Cell. And just like that, Cell's been defeated. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't copy some of Goku's Kryptonian blood because he's, he's a, a Kryptonian, Kryptonian Saiyan. Saiyan. Goku managed to outmatch him and you know, one shot is like as always. And now with Goku being the ruler of planet Earth, you know, no one can be as strong as him because he is Superman's power plus his power fused to be one. <laughs> That's his OP, how you can stop something like that? And therefore, Supreme Kai comes to him and tells him about the danger, how Frieza is ruling the entire universe and he's very dangerous and that he needs his help since he sees that he's very strong. So basically Goku would actually accept that offer and he would get eventually Kai kai by Shin to planet Namek because usually uh, that would be where Frieza would reside in the canon story. So Goku would come up to Frieza, but eventually the goons would come up to him, but uh... Since Goku is Kryptonian Saiyan, and he would just one shot everybody, and would get straight to Frieza. Now Frieza, seeing that Goku is actually so OP, Frieza would actually go all the way into his final form. Now it wouldn't really help Frieza any. He's, He's a, a Kryptonian, Kryptonian Saiyan. Saiyan, and with that, Frieza would get one shot, and as you know it, Goku managed to save the universe from Frieza's wrath. Pretty much anyone that comes to Goku won't even stand a chance against him. Majibu will be unhatched due to the fact that there's no one there that he could steal energy from trying to get him to be hatched again so planet earth is saved due to that fact but now Goku on the other hand is in danger because Beerus the destroyer will wake up from his slumber unfortunately because he could sense and hear that there's something very powerful out there and he'll probably wonder if Goku could be his arch nemesis to fight him and therefore he'll go to Whis and you know act like another Karen and be like Whis take me to Goku quickly so Whis will take him to Goku and once when they arrive They'll see each other and Whis will then tell Goku that he is a destroyer and that he's an angel and that Beerus wants to fight with Goku. Now Goku will be weirded out seeing that it's a Catman wants to fight with him but how do you think the fight between him and Beerus will go down? Well the fight between Beerus and Goku would actually go pretty smooth for Goku because well you see Goku would actually fight Beerus but not to the point where he would actually one shot him because Goku would actually do it for the fun. So, uh, but when Beerus uh, would start attacking Goku more and more, Goku would actually realize that he's actually in danger. So, when they go out of space and Beerus starts preparing um, a sun-like blast, once Beerus throws it, Goku just feeds off of it. 
because he's, he's a, a Kryptonian Saiyan. With his Kryptonian blood, he actually gets power from the sun. And eventually he would get the Zenkai and he would defeat Beerus very easily. Actually, he wouldn't defeat him, he would actually kill him. Because... And now that Goku has killed Beerus, pretty much Whis will come to him and say that, Listen, you're so strong and now that there's no more Destroyer, I would like for you to be the next Destroyer for this universe. Goku would be like, what, me? No! I have no interest in that, I just want to protect planet Earth. Whis then tell Goku that if he becomes a Destroyer, he'll get a lot stronger and he have a destruction power. So Goku takes up his offer, and now he becomes a Destroyer for Universe 7. But remember, Vegeta is still out there. Vegeta comes to meet Goku since he hears that there's no one out there, Frieza's dead and Goku's still alive. He actually asks Goku if he can live in planet Earth and be on his side. Although he is much weaker than Goku, Vegeta would adjust around Goku and Goku decided to make him be the one to protect planet Earth while he does his destroyer training. And as you know it, Goku becomes a full-fledged destroyer and he is now announced to the multiverse that he is a destroyer. Now, what do you think is going to happen with the Champa? Do you think Champa want to come get revenge after he finds out that Goku killed his brother? Well, Champa would actually be pretty mad. But considering that uh, Goku defeated Beerus, Champa would actually be a little scared. Well, you see, because he is He's a, a Kryptonian, Kryptonian Saiyan. Saiyan. And with him being a Kryptonian Saiyan and also now being a destroyer, <laughs> Goku can, if, if he wants, he can one shot Grand Priest because he's a Saiyan, a destroyer, and a Kryptonian all three in one. And then from there, a black hole opens up again, Superman comes out, Kal El, and be like, You're Goku right here, huh? Goku be like, Huh, and who are you? And then from there, that's when Goku and Superman will have a fight, but because Goku has all three, he would easily one-shot Superman and Hakai him from existence, and Superman would die right there. And as you know, everybody, this is a complete bullshit video. Why? Because this is a... April, April Fools. Fools! Me and my Vegeta T23 decided to make an April Fools video for you guys, which is called, What If Goku Was Born As Kryptonian Insane? And trust me, this video was kind of ridiculous, but stay tuned for our actual collab coming up very soon called What If Goku and Vegeta Were Sent To Planet Earth. That collab is going to begin after this video. I hope you guys all appreciate this video and give a like and please subscribe to Vegeta T23. The link is inside the description below. Please make sure you subscribe to his channel and support him. And if you haven't joined our Discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you can become the first Z Fighters. I'm Goku T23 and as always my Z fans, have an insane day.